Who was the best dressed at the 2024 SAG Awards? And why did Travis Kelsey leave Taylor Swift after just a couple of days in Sydney? Hello, and welcome back to A Quick Look, a pop culture show. Where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines in entertainment and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell. Let's get into the show. Okay. First thing is first, we are going to talk about the 2024 SAG Awards. Not so much the winners and the losers, but more so the fashion. Because let me just say, there were some absolutely incredible looks at this year's show. I feel like the fashion during awards season so far has been okay. No one has been terrible. But I haven't, there haven't been that many looks that have been super memorable, at least for me. Margot Robbie has killed a lot of awards season, especially playing into the whole Barbie theme. But I can't really point to many other looks that have really stood out. But the SAG Awards, the, the, this celebrities, the actors, they came out best dressed. So many people to discuss. First person that I want to shout out who looked incredible was Anne Hathaway in this. I don't know if it was actually a two piece situation. It may have been a dress with like a slit in the middle, but this beautiful blue dress, she just looked so beautiful, so regal. That color looked so good on her and her skin tone and her hair. I feel like she's been killing it recently with her fashion. I think she got a new stylist fairly recently. And you can tell because she is looking amazing. She's always wearing just the great, just things that suit her very well and suit her body well and colors that suit her. And I feel like she's been showing up and showing out. So props to you, Anne Hathaway. Also, side note, but Anne Hathaway did present at the SAG Awards with Meryl Streep and Emily Blunt, AKA Devil Wears Prada reunion. And as a Devil Wears Prada stan, it warmed my heart. Okay, moving on to more fashion hits. Emma Stone, sensational. She loves a neutral, sparkly moment. If you remember what she wore when she won her Oscar a handful of years ago, she wore like a very pretty gold beaded dress. And that's kind of very similar to what she's what she wore to the SAG Awards, but honestly, it works, so I don't blame her for continuing to wear the same sort of theme. But yeah, she had this beautiful silver beaded dress, kind of showed off her shoulders. It was just beautiful. It was it was elegant. She had her hair pulled back in like a beautiful bun. I thought she looked stunning. I loved it. She's not someone that I feel like really messes around with crazy wild fashion or goes for it in these big, crazy, bold ways. She sticks to what works for her. And as, as she should, because it works and it's beautiful. Okay, someone that, when I saw the photo, I was like, <gasps> I kind of, it was so, I just thought it was so stunning on her, was Brie Larson in this beautiful two-piece skirt top situation, which I don't always love on the red cart, but I feel like it's a little bit trendy. And I it doesn't always work for me personally, but she looked so beautiful. It was this beautiful kind of like, pink peachy color which worked really well for her skin tone it's not a color that i feel like everyone can pull off but she pulled it off fabulously showing off her very toned physique she's clearly in amazing shape she just looked stunning i loved this look honestly might be my favorite look of this show i thought she looked amazing and then i wanted to sh shout out a member of our quick look family um, Jenny loved this look of Margot Robbie. So I wanted to shout her out as well with the, the short kind of dress with the p pink off the shoulder trains situation. I don't even know what you can call that. Cause it's not exactly a, I mean, I guess it is a train, but it's coming off of her side, not of her back. But Margot again, continuing the Barbie theme. I'm going to be so sad when the Oscars is over because she's going to have to wrap up the Barbie looks probably. And it's just been a fun era to live in this Barbie land. I also wanted to shout out some of the men because some of the guys, you know, a lot of guys show up in just the simple tux, black, looks fine, whatever. But there were a few guys who 
tried to do something a little different and I want to give them, I want to give them their due. So Coleman Domingo wore this white tux, but with like black sort of stripe accents going on. Um, he just looked very sharp. It looked very cool. I kind of liked the twist on the tux look. Um, also Pedro Pascal basically looked like Prince Eric um, in just like a very simple white button down shirt, black pants. But the second I saw him, I was like, this is Prince Eric. And I was very much here for it. So he looked great. A lot of the guys showed up, so appreciated that. As for the winners, it was very similar to how the Golden Globes, the Emmys have gone this year on the TV side. The Bear, Succession, Beef, cleaning up, winning a lot of categories. Actually, one of the only kind of surprise wins of the evening was Pedro Pascal, who won Best Actor, beating out a lot of the Succession cast. Um, so that was kind of a, a surprise win. And he was even surprised when he got on stage. I think he said something like he was very drunk or something because I don't think he expected to win. So that was kind of fun. And then in terms of the film movie categories, um, Best Actor was Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. Supporting Actor was Robert Downey Jr. Oppenheimer. Best Actress went to Lily Gladstone, Killers of the Flower Moon, and um, Supporting Actress went to um, Divine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers. And those four have basically won kind of every award show so far um, for the most part. There's been some murmurs that maybe Emma Stone could win Best Actress, but didn't end up happening here at SAG Awards. I think these are the four that are going to win the Oscar. So I, I think... I think the those four categories are wrapped up, but I guess you never know until the show happens. We shall see. Also, it was interesting because the SAG Awards were on Netflix this year, uh, streaming, not on basic TV. And so all the um, speeches and stuff, everyone was allowed to curse, say whatever they wanted. There was no restrictions, which was kind of interesting. And I, I'm wondering if this is the new way forward, if we're going to start to see other major award shows like the Oscars or the Golden Globes, the Grammys start to pivot away from from those basic TV channels and head on over to streaming services. I think it's kind of the way of the future. I also wanted to just quickly touch on, because I know last week I mentioned that we were going to be talking about Travis Kelsey being at Taylor Swift's Sydney shows for the whole weekend. Well, as it turns out, after one night at the Ares tour in Sydney, Travis packed his bags and left Australia and headed back to Vegas. But don't worry, there's no trouble in paradise here. The reason Travis left and headed back to Vegas was because this weekend the Chiefs had a little post Super Bowl celebration festivities in Las Vegas. And so Travis was just heading back to celebrate with his team a lot of Chiefs players were there partying it up. So Travis wasn't abandoning Taylor or anything like that. He just, you know, he had to celebrate with his team as he should. Um, we did see, though, there was some footage that came out um, following the first concert that Travis was at of him and Taylor walking hand in hand to get onto some sort of boat. It seemed like they were going on like a little evening boat date because um, they were spotted on like a pier marina situation. So they got one last fun little date night in, just the two of them. I'll be curious to see, uh, Taylor just wrapped up her Australia show. She's going to be in Singapore next weekend. I think for the next two weekends, she'll be in Singapore. So I'll be curious to see if Travis heads down to Singapore, what he does next. I kind of think we will see him there in the coming days or weeks, but um guess we'll just have to wait and see. All right, guys, that is our show. Let me know in the comments who your favorite, who your best dressed SAG Award celebrity was, maybe even worst dressed, what you thought of the uh, Taylor in Australia shows, maybe your favorite surprise song she played, all your thoughts, feelings. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.